This is the 911 audio. 911, where is your emergency? We got these grown girls over here who are trying to fight us, who are trying to stab us, who are trying to put their hands on my grandma. Get here right now. Can you get any more crystal clear than that, motherfucker? These dispatch assholes. Uh, they're, they're uh, stabbing people with, uh, with a weapon? So uh, she's going to hang up, which uh, she rightfully should, because there's a commotion, there's a situation. Her, she's in danger, and then her loved ones are in danger. She wants to, you know, keep her eyes on the situation. I don't understand why dispatch, 911 dispatch always has to be like that. I understand you're trying to get information, but you act like you're smarter than every motherfucker. Why don't you explain level with us? Look, I've already sent the cop out to you, okay? Immediately, as soon as you called, there's a police officer that's being sent out to you. Is there a way you could get to a safe place so you could talk? to us and explain to us what the hell is going on. I don't understand why 911 dispatch can't just say that. Why can't they just say that? There's another park here for minute 40. So I want to make a quick point. Everybody in the beginning, no. <laughs> yeah, if you, you roll up onto a scene, and you see this uh, big old dog pile, just a big old commotion, everybody fighting everybody. It could look like every single person's an asshole. Everybody's an asshole. In the beginning, you show up, it looks like, you know, that side of their asshole, that side, that everybody's a bunch of shitty assholes, and they're all being... So in a fight, in an argument, both people look like dicks. Both people are not putting on their best, you know, they're not putting their best foot forward. So if you roll up on an argument, you roll up on a fight... Everybody looks like assholes in the very beginning. But, so how do you determine what, you know, how do you get through the shit? How do you, you know, get through the, cut through the bullshit? I think to me, who starts it is absolutely crucial. If one person was just peacefully minding their own business and then the other motherfucker was just, you know, who starts it matters. Who starts it matters. You have a right to defend yourself, but you don't have a right to be the aggressor. You have a right to defend yourself. If somebody tries to hurt you, yeah, you've got a right to defend yourself. Definitely, 100%. But you can't be the aggressor. You can't be the attacker. You can't be the, that's, you're the bad guy. You're the bad person. You start the fight. Just think of the Revolutionary War, Civil War, World War II. Think about the War on Terror. The whole world's asking for our empire, right? Look what they did to us on 9-11. Of course we got to go fight Hitler and the Nazis and, you know, Italy and Japan. And look what they did at Pearl Harbor. Revolutionary War, you had Boston Massacre. You had the Yellow Creek Massacre. Civil War, you had the, you know, shots at Fort Sumter. They're shooting at us. You see what they're doing? They're shooting at our bases, at our military. That's war. You got a right to defend yourself. We were attacked on 9-11. Now we got a war on terror. We were attacked on Pearl Harbor. So we went and kicked some fucking Nazi asses like the anti-fascist heroes that we are. Self-defense is okay. Self-defense is okay. But you cannot be the aggressor. So... Everybody looks like assholes when you first come up to the scene. Everybody looks like assholes. So who's right? Who's wrong? You could just throw everybody in jail and not even have to fucking deal with this shit. Or you could just ask a couple questions. And I bet you the truth will just emerge on its own.
He said, you didn't just shoot my baby, so this guy is fucking mad. He is fucking pissed, right? He's, at, but, um, if black lives matter, then she tried to attack one black life, and she tried to attack another black life. If, you, if I have to give a verdict right now, Micaiah Bryant's guilty. Micaiah Bryant was the aggressor. She's the one attacking people with knives while the cops are still out and about, and then when she attacks the first person, the first person rolls over, you know, if that's the father, that means the father was trying to kick a child when the child was on the ground. He's going to say later on, you stupid, you stupid, you know, you just, you, you just shot a child, and it's, you know, she was 16 years old, and all human beings are gods. So, you know, R.I.P. Micaiah Bryant, I don't want to see anybody die, I don't want to see, but if you would have let Micaiah Bryant go, how many black lives would have been dead? To me, it looks like she was the one that was going around stabbing. There's grown people stabbing us, trying to stab our grandma. So the grandma could have got stabbed. Those two black lives, that's three black lives. Three black lives that could have been lost. If we would have allowed Micaiah Bryant to, I guess, do what, you know, let her complete the, let her do what she wanted to do. So, let's listen. They administer CPR really slowly, and um, don't seem like they're being too serious about. There's gonna be a cop that's gonna laugh. Give him a two-week suspension. Fuck that motherfucker. A cop laughed about somebody dying. Fuck you. No, nah, we don't need that type of shit. Get the fuck off the force. Two-week suspension automatically. Automatically. But I think that the uh, the police officers are exonerated. Makai Bryan is guilty, so therefore the protests are. You're, it's much ado about nothing. A lot of people, there's been like 40 or 50 people that's been executed in, the, you know, whatever, Franklin County in five years. So that's, you know, appalling. That's disturbing. But we kill 3,000 Americans every year. It's, it's what we do. We kill three uh, cops. Cops kill 3,000 Americans. And then I want to say the citizens, they kill a lot of people too, right? I think the, they kill less. They might kill like 1,000 or two. I don't know. Homicide deaths, gun deaths. So, if you care about black lives, then you would care about the grandmother's life. You would care about the first and the second black life. When the people came up on the scene, she said she didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing at all. And then eventually she's going to say that, you know, yeah, she was, you know, she, I'm the one that she tried to come after is what uh, she's going to say. And I don't know why you want to attack somebody when the cops are there. Like I said before, maybe she got a burst of confidence, you know. Finally, the hero cops are here, and we could finally... But to me, I mean, it might have started as like a domestic, and she's a foster kid, so maybe that's why you're not hearing much information. But I need to hear more information from uh, Micaiah Bryant's camp. Because so far there's been either no information or a lot of inconsistencies. Didn't have a knife. She did have a knife. And she tried to, you know, she attacked two people right there in front of the cop. Right there in front of the cop. It's so brazen. It's not even, I mean, it's almost, if black lives matter, then the first person that they attacked, does her life not matter? Does grandma's life not matter? Does the other? So there's three black lives for, you know, one. And so if the... If it looks to be the way that it looks to be, because Occam's razor, the most obvious explanation, the simplest explanation, is probably correct. There is a 
grown girl attacking them with a knife. They came up, there was a grown girl still attacking people with a knife. So maybe it's a domestic, maybe there's local Latin kings, you know. There's lots of people around, so, uh, you know, any a paragraph from any one of them would help shed some light on what's going on. I don't know why that, you know, father was trying to kick that kid who was on the ground, right? That's just a kid. Why was he trying to kick the kid that was on the ground? I feel like he's, you know, got his attempted kick or whatever that's, um... Pretty brazen, pretty crazy, pretty insane, and so ultimately, let's get to the heart of the matter. Who started this? Who started this fight? Who threw the first punch? What's actually going on? Was it 9-11? Was it Pearl Harbor? Who threw the first punch? Who started it? Because who, start, who starts it? You have a right to defend yourself. You don't have a right to go around attacking innocent people. And I don't know why criminals are shitty to the ones that are filled with love. So this is, you know, I'll hold out the possibility, but I'm just, if I have to make a verdict today, guilty. But I do think it's, you know, anything's possible. So maybe Micaiah Bryant's light, maybe the criminals were shitty to her because she was filled with love and light. And the people that were filled with hate and darkness couldn't stand it. They couldn't stand it. That's a possibility. So I said I was going to, you know, a verdict right now. So I think it's, I really wanted Keith Lamont Scott. I wanted Keith Lamont Scott to be innocent too. What happened to Elijah McClain is bullshit. What happened to George Floyd is bullshit. What happened to Breonna Taylor? I mean, this is, what happened to Breonna Taylor, that's something to have a permanent revolution. Let's have a revolution forever and ever for Breonna Taylor. Filomino, uh, Filomino, what's his name? Castile, Filomino Castile, Eric Garner. Let's have forever revolutions in their name. Innocent, salt of the earth, humble people. There's a reason why the meek is going to inherit the earth. So, I guess I'll have play for... Micaiah Bryant, Micaiah Bryant is, um, unfortunately she, you know, we're all gods, and so R.I.P. Micaiah Bryant. She was on the honor roll. She cared about her grades. She cared about a future. And she could have been the one that was, you know, going to cure cancer for the rest of us. So the, the cop that laughed, two weeks suspension. Micaiah Bryant, unfortunately, I think is guilty. Because, you know, like I said, I don't know the full picture, but to me it looks like that the person at the scene that was doing the stabbing was also the person that was doing the stabbing beforehand. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But so far, there, you know, it's been, there's just, she didn't have, she had a knife, but she dropped it. No, she didn't. She, she had the knife up until the very end. That's the whole thing. So, that was a lie. And then there were some other lies. So it's like, yeah. So if Black Lives Matter, then you know, she tried to attack three Black Lives. If she would have had her way, there'd been three dead Black people. And to me, I mean, like I said, it looks like she was the one that was attacking people. But I, I don't know. I mean, I just it seems crazy to go around attacking people with a knife. It's so. I mean, we're such fragile. You know, people. So a knife could do a lot of damage to a person. A lot of damage. Maybe she saw them doing it and then, you know, mimic the exact same thing that they were doing. Seems kind of crazy to me. Pick up a statue or something. I don't know. 
I mean, R.I.P. Makai Bryant, and I didn't want to. Come on, America, let's try to treat each other better. Shit. We can get along, I think. <laughs>